Hello friends, welcome to Sandeep's Biology. So in this video, I will be talking about beta thalassemia. And in previous video, I already discussed about alpha thalassemia. So let's see about beta thalassemia in this video. So thalassemia is hereditary hemolytic disorder. And it occurs because of the imbalance or impairment in the synthesis of globin chains of hemoglobin. So let's see. Thalassemia is hemolytic hereditary disorder and it occurs because of imbalance or impairment in the synthesis of globin chains of hemoglobin so hemoglobin is quaternary protein having two alpha chains and two beta globin chains so let's just so a uh, structure of hemoglobin a representative structure of hemoglobin This red color center portion is containing him. So this is beta 1 chain. This is beta 2 chain. Alpha 1 and alpha 2. So there are four different globin chains present in the structure of hemoglobin. Two alpha chains and two beta chains. And we also know the central dogma of life, DNA to mRNA and mRNA to amino acid sequences and finally into protein. So hemoglobin is quaternary protein. and there are genes that are responsible for the coding of the proteins, the coding of these four different chains. If there is any defect in the gene, then the thalassemia occurs. Then the, there will be imbalance or impairment in the synthesis of globin chains and then thalassemia disorder occurs. So if there is any defect in the genes that is coding for beta chains, right? The genes that is coding for beta chains if the gene is affected then there will be beta thalassemia so there will be imbalance in the synthesis of beta globin chains of hemoglobin and it is called beta thalassemia so the genes that are coding for beta chains in hemoglobin are situated on the chromosome number 11. So the chromosome number 11 contains the gene that codes for beta globin chains of hemoglobin. So let's just draw a chromosome here. So chromosomes are always in a pair. One we inherit from mother and one from father. And these are the chromosome that is homologous to each other. So on chromosome number 11, there are two genes, one on each chromosome, responsible for the coding of these beta globin chains. Remember in case of alpha thalassemia or in the case of synthesis of alpha globin chains, there are four different genes, right? Two on each chromosome, synthesis or coding for alpha globin chains of hemoglobin but in case of beta globin chain synthesis there are only two genes responsible for the coding of beta chains of hemoglobin so if there is any defect in this gene if gene is having any kind of mutation then there will be impairment in the synthesis of beta globin chains and that's why we call it beta thalassemia so let's just see first case is normal if both of the genes are functional 
so both of these beta globin chain are synthesizing so first both of the genes are present and both of these chains are synthesizing so the person is normal right both of these beta globin chains are synthesizing and person is normal if there is any defect in one gene right one gene is having any kind of mutation and due to that the gene is affected and i am showing this gene by blue color affected gene by blue color and this black color gene shows functionality so this is functional gene so only one chain is synthesizing right only one gene is functional and only one beta globin chain is synthesizing so this person is called beta thalassemia minor beta thalassemia minor since the person can synthesize some amount of beta globin chain from the affected gene so this person is asymptomatic and it is normal so this person is asymptomatic and it can live normal life but it acts as a carrier for beta thalassemia tract right so it acts as carrier because it is having one affected gene so it carries beta thalassemia tract to its offspring and in third case both of the genes are affected both of these genes are having kind, some kind of mutation so let's just indicate these both genes by blue color so both of genes are affected and there is no synthesis of beta globin chain so beta globin chains are not synthesizing because of both of genes are having some kind of mutation so in this case alpha globin chain synthesis is not affected it is synthesizing so alpha globin chains are synthesizing and it forms alpha tetramer so alpha globin chain tetramer so it forms something like this so it is known as a4 so there is no synthesis of beta globin chain a4 alpha tetramer is formed right and in this case it is known as beta thalassemia major so if both of this gene is affected then it is known as beta thalassemia major and the infants that are born with beta thalassemia major are healthy at the time of birth but after birth after one to two years they will die due to anemia so they will develop anemia and after one to two years the infants will die but if frequent blood transfusion is done the person can live up to 15 to 20 years so if frequent blood transfusion is done in case of beta thalassemia major the person can live up to 15 to 20 years and after 15 to 20 years they will die due to the iron overload so they will die due to iron overload because of the iron coming from the hemoglobin from the blood transfusion done right so this is about the thalassemia and different case different types of thalassemia so i hope this video is helpful if you are watching this video till here please hit the like button if you want more videos like this then subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thank you